I'm boy number number two. Yeah, welcome back to the garage, guys. And in today's video, we're pulling the engine, which is gonna be pretty damn exciting, to to be honest, because it we used like a whole week of life straight straight up work like every single day. So it's gonna be pretty dope to finally pull the engine. Got the engine hoist there that uh, I got from co-worker, so that's that's fucking awesome. And now we just got the start out that uh, you could honestly use it like as a fitness prop or something. It's it's pretty heavy. And uh, I think we decided on like trying to pull the engine without pulling the, the trench because uh, that would just be a lot easier. So we're gonna try to do that. So right now we're removing like the so yeah we're gonna remove like a car and the and the transmission and then we're gonna try to pull the engine apart from it. I have no idea how it's stuck or anything, but uh, Yolo sweat. So cool. Hey yo, we gonna do this shit. <laughs> So, we just went to buy a motor stand, right? And I forgot my fucking wallet, so uh, Simon is gonna wait in there with the motor stand, and I'm gonna get some cash. Yeah, man, we out here. Uh, keep doing your thing, but shake that ass for me. Right, right. It's over, man. We out here getting the motor mounts loose. Of Cal loose. I mean, we got two bolts on each side, or one bolt on each side, which equals two. But math. I'm good at math now. Very, very smart, bright person. And uh, then we should be pretty much good to go to pull the engine. Um, we're gonna try to pull the engine without pulling the transmission. So hopefully it just like comes loose and separate like a teenager moving away from his parents or something. <laughs> you, know, you know, very, very, very smooth transition. Very, very nice. Oh, damn. Only just. Ooh, first bolt on. No, no. Guys, the engine is literally hovering in the ground right now. There's no bolts and nothing holding it down. Ooh, look at this. So nice. Transmission separating from the engine. So right now, if, if this fails and I sit and like edit this video tonight and, and fail miserably and this, then uh, comment down below if it's actually possible to just like use an engine hose for this. Like separating them. <laughs> so one thing we totally forgot was the exhaust, so we're just gonna try to get that off. It, it, okay, my fault. <laughs> so uh, the headers are, are really rusty, so it's probably gonna take some time, I think. I, I don't know, maybe, maybe not. So I'll return, man. One hour later! We finally did it, man. Rusted exhaust bolts, man. They, mm, I, I just love them. Look at this. Lovely gasket right here. Let's see if we can take up this. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Oh, look at this, man. This is gonna be my trophy for getting that bolt on. Gonna, gonna lay it right here. Very nice. Time to lift, maybe. <laughs> One hour later, we finally did it, man. Rusted exhaust bolts, man. They, mm, I, I just love them. Look at this lovely gasket right here. Let's see if we can take up this. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Oh, look at this, man. This is gonna be my trophy for getting that bolt on. Gonna, gonna lay it right here. Very nice. Time to lift, maybe. Let's. Guys, we did it, yo! We fucking got the engine loose like in five minutes. It was so easy. So easy. The easiest 
copyright. Shut up. <laughs> Damn, very nice. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. She's so wet, man. Look at this. She's literally pissing all over the ground. She's so happy to get released from this shitty car. It's just, yeah, transmission oil from the converter. That's so much. Wow, I really gotta clean up. Holy. Ooh, let's go. So much transmission oil. That's Chevelle, man. Damn. Back on, my look. Hey, we did it, fam. We did it. <laughs> Look at that. We got transmission oil all over the place. That sucks. <laughs> but that doesn't matter. I'm so happy about the engine being out right now. It's mm. oh damn. Oh, oh. Oh, it looks so heavy. I'm so scared of this thing falling down. <laughs> Very nice. <sighs> Did my fish mark on there? Holy shit. <laughs> Holy shit. My dude, look at it. So, going very quick into like the future, whatever, we weren't to like, oh, yeah, we just wasn't able to get the starter wheel off as the bolts are just stuck on there. So if you guys have any tips to like get it off, it, I still can't get it off in the engine stand and it's not because I can't lock the engine so the engine doesn't turn. The bolts are literally just so good on and I don't have any power tools or air tools. So if you have any good tips, cause you know, we don't have a American size like wrenches and stuff like that. So the one size we found to fit really well was a 19 mil uh, wrench or whatever. And we tried with like the longest extension bar and everything and, and we just couldn't get it loose. But uh, yeah, drop some uh, some tips down below, I guess. Uh, but thank you for watching. This video was uh, so cool to me because uh, I've been working like 24 seven yo all day, seven days a week and stuff uh, like the last week and just, just been grinding, you know, to get this, this engine out. So it's really cool to see it come out and uh, now we can finally start working on the frame and stuff. We're gonna drop the frame wheel soon too. Uh, this is gonna be a frame off restoration. Well, the front frame, if you will, because it's a unit frame car, I guess. But uh, yeah, thank you for watching. Leave a like and a subscribe, and I hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you in the next one. And I also wanna say thank you right now for six fires and followers on Instagram. We haven't hit it yet, but it, it's going so quick off. So when this video is uploaded, we're probably on 6,000. So uh, thank you so much for subscribing and supporting the channel and instagram profile i guess and uh, it's just awesome thank you thank you i look so tired look at me haven't got any sleep we were out there at the garage till like 11 o'clock yesterday woke up at like five oh we're living a tough life out here man having a, a seven to four job every single day and then also kind of work again you know garage i work as a mechanic as normal and then I go out to do the same in my spare time. It's just hard, you know, but uh, thank you for watching. See you later.